coming home, we saw some really cool workups of big schools of kahoa with gannets just going boof into the water and we thought that was really wicked. And then even closer back we saw some dolphins and we went and had a look and it turned out to be Maui dolphins, which are quite distinctive, smaller than normal ones. Uh, they have black markings on them and they have a rounded dorsal fin as opposed to a pointy dorsal fin. Uh, a lot smaller, they're only about one and a half metres long. Um, you could probably get your arms around them. So we ended up seeing four in the end. And apparently there's only 80 of these things left in the world. So that's about 5% of the entire population of Maui dolphins that we uh, got to see. Uh, they hung around with us for about five or 10 minutes. We uh, eventually started heading back to the boat ramp at Manu Bay. Um, they followed us, they just kept hanging around all the way until we were about 300, 400 metres away from the boat ramp. Then they just disappeared. So we went back to the boat ramp met some people, swapped two tunas for a crayfish, and went home real happy. That's the first time I've ever seen Maui dolphins, certainly up close enough to positively identify them. Didn't seem timid in any way, they seemed quite happy, they were only, you know, less than a kilometre probably from the, from the shore at Manu Bay, up from Whale Bay, so... I would imagine if they hang around that area, I'd see them again. Uh, apparently most sightings are between the Manuka and Manuka Harbour and Port Waikato, and I don't go up there very often. But uh, I'm pretty stoked to see them, and if I never see them again, well, that'd be a real shame, because they were very cool. I'm stoked to have uh, my mate Matthew Hughes' son Ollie on the boat, he's only 11. Probably, you know, he's more stoked than us, I would have thought. Big day for him. Has there hope for them? Only 80 left, not much. <laughs> Even with the best will in the world, I would have thought if there's only 80, you're going to have issues with inbreeding and you know genetic diversity and stuff to deal with, I suppose. Yeah.